We're just months away from the start of the hurricane season. Last year, North Carolina was hit with two deadly storms. Colorado State released its hurricane forecast this week. Meteorologist Bill Ray has a look at what it means for us. Well, it seems like yesterday, doesn't it? almost? This is Florence from last September in devastating North Carolina. We had Florence and we had Michael. And while it's been several months, we're now right around the corner from our next hurricane season. And the first forecast of the year came out yesterday from Colorado State University. These folks have been doing this a long time. Here's what they had to say. Name storms. They're predicting 13. I put April forecast up here because they will revise this as we get closer to the season. Average is 12, so pretty close to average there. Hurricanes average six. They've got five major hurricanes. Two, the average is three. You just want to compare that to last year. We had 15 storms, eight hurricanes, and two major storms. So for the most part, they have this year pretty close to average, but less than last year. And they're basing it on El Nino being around, which uh, doesn't allow a lot of hurricanes to form. And right now, the tropical Atlantic waters are cooler than normal. That could all change, but that's what they've got right now. If you're interested, here's the list of names. If their prediction is right, we'll get to Melissa. That would be the uh, 13th storm. But we've always got our eyes here in North Carolina right on the F storm, Ferdinand, and then, of course, Melissa uh, is the M storm, which would be the last of the year. So there are your list of storms. Let's hope we don't get that far on the list. But once again, the hurricane season does officially start June 1st. I'm CBS 17 Storm Team Meteorologist Bill Ray.